In the annals of unsolved mysteries, few cases have captivated the imagination as much as the Jagsi case. The perplexing death of Gunter Stahl, an unemployed food technician from Anhausen, Germany. The case, named after a cryptic note left by Stahl, remains one of Germany's most enduring enigmas, a puzzle that has both baffled investigators and intrigued the public for decades. Gunnar Stahl was not your average citizen. In the months leading up to his mysterious death in 1984, he was known to suffer from bouts of paranoia. He frequently spoke to his wife about them, unidentified individuals he believed were intent on causing him harm. This paranoia wasn't a fleeting concern. It was a persistent fear that they were out to get him. But who were they? This question remains unanswered. On the evening of October 25, 1984, Stahl's behavior took a sudden and dramatic turn. While seated in his home, he abruptly exclaimed, which translates to, what followed was a series of events that would only deepen the mystery. Stahl hastily scribbled down a sequence of characters on a piece of paper, Y-O-G-T-Z. The exact interpretation of this sequence is debated. Some believe the third character might have been a six rather than a G. Leaving his home, Stahl ventured to his favorite pub in Wilnsdorf, but instead of a typical evening out, he ordered a beer and before even taking a sip, collapsed to the ground, injuring his face. Witnesses at the pub were adamant. Stahl wasn't drunk, he seemed distressed, perhaps even terrified. After leaving the pub, Stahl's whereabouts for the next two hours remain a mystery. He resurfaced around 1 a.m., visiting an elderly woman he had known since childhood. Despite the late hour, he spoke of a horrible incident that was imminent. Heeding the woman's advice, he left, presumably to return home. But Stahl never made it home. Around 3 a.m., under the dim glow of the highway lights, two truck drivers traversed the Autobahn A45, a major artery in Germany's vast road network. As they drove, their headlights caught an unusual sight. A Volkswagen Golf unmistakably stalls, lying askew in a ditch, its metal frame contorted from impact. The scene was eerily silent, save for the distant hum of passing cars. Compelled by a mix of duty and curiosity, the drivers pulled over to investigate. Approaching the vehicle, they were met with a sight that would haunt them for years to come. Inside the mangled car was Gunther Stahl, his body devoid of clothing, bearing the marks of severe trauma. His skin, pale from blood loss, contrasted sharply with the dark interior of the car. Despite his grievous injuries, a flicker of life remained in his eyes. Mustering the strength to speak, Stahl relayed a tale that added yet another layer of mystery to an already perplexing case. He spoke of four other men, individuals who had been in the car with him just moments before the truck drivers arrived. These weren't acquaintances or friends. Their presence was sinister. With pain evident in his voice, he described how they had hastily fled the scene, leaving him behind in this dire state. The truck drivers, realizing the gravity of the situation, quickly called for help. But fate was not on Stahl's side that night. Despite the rapid response of emergency services, his injuries proved too severe. As the ambulance raced towards the hospital, with medical personnel working fervently to save him, Gunther Stahl's life slipped away, taking with him the answers to a myriad of questions that surrounded that fateful night. The subsequent investigation only deepened the enigma. It was determined that Stahl's injuries weren't from the car crash. He had been run over while naked by another vehicle at a different location. Someone had then placed him in his car and staged the accident. Witnesses, including the truck drivers, reported seeing a man in a bright jacket near the crash site, a figure who vanished before authorities arrived. Other witnesses also claimed to have seen a hitchhiker near the Hagen Sud exit nearby. The identity of the hitchhiker, the man in the bright jacket, as well as the four alleged passengers, remains unknown. The perplexing demise of Gunther Stahl has given rise to numerous theories, each attempting to shed light on the events of that fateful night. The circumstances surrounding Stahl's death strongly suggest foul play. The fact that he was likely run over by a vehicle different from his own, combined with his cryptic mention of four unknown men, points towards a deliberate act of violence. His state of undress remains a mystery, with speculations ranging from a possible affair to the influence of drugs. The presence of an unidentified individual at the crash site, as reported by witnesses, 
further strengthens the murder theory. If Stahl did indeed fear someone, his reluctance to name his attackers could stem from a genuine fear for his safety or that of his loved ones. Stahl's behavior prior to his death coupled with his known paranoia suggests the possibility of a mental health crisis. He might have inadvertently placed himself in harm's way, leading to an accidental collision. This theory, while plausible, doesn't fully explain the presence of other individuals or the staged accident scene. Another angle to consider is that Stahl, in a state of confusion or distress, accidentally injured himself with his own vehicle. This theory, though less sinister, still leaves many questions unanswered, especially regarding the involvement of other parties. Central to the mystery is the note Stahl scribbled before his departure. Its interpretation has been the subject of much debate. Some posit that Stahl was attempting to recall a license plate, possibly Y06-TZ3, fitting the European format of the time. However, this lead hasn't yielded any significant breakthroughs. The sequence y 6 TZ corresponds to a Romanian radio station's call sign, though its relevance to Stahl remains unclear. Given Stahl's profession, Y06 might reference yogurt, with TZ denoting a type of artificial flavoring. The implications of this are still uncertain. The term zygote, an early developmental stage in organisms, has been brought up in relation to Stahl's note. Given the growing interest in genetically modified foods during the 1980s, could Stahl have stumbled upon a clandestine project? An intriguing suggestion is that Yagsi, when viewed backward and interpreted as 027906, points to specific geographical locations, though their significance remains elusive. Piecing together the events, one might envision a scenario where Stahl, after a moment of realization at home, ventured out, only to encounter individuals with malicious intent. Perhaps these individuals perceived him as a threat given his profession and potential knowledge. The subsequent events of the night, from Stahl's injury to the staged accident, might have been a desperate attempt to silence him. Yet the mystery of his nudity on a cold German night and the true meaning of Yagsi remain unsolved, leaving more questions than answers in this enigmatic case. The Yagsi case has left an indelible mark on German criminal history. Featured on the popular German television program Actensiechen XY in 1985, the case has since become a staple of unsolved mystery discussions. Despite the passage of time, the intrigue surrounding Gunther Stahl's death remains undiminished. It's a testament to the human fascination with the unknown, a yearning to solve puzzles and seek answers, even when they remain elusive. In the end, the Yagsi case serves as a haunting reminder of life's unpredictability. It's a story of a man, his fears, and a series of events that defy explanation. As investigators continue their search for answers, one can only hope that one day the mystery of Gunther Stahl's final night will be unraveled. Until then, the Yagsi case remains an enigmatic chapter in the annals of unsolved mysteries.